Peter Buchanan, a retired cemetery manager here in the Mount Elliott Cemetery Association, and in this place where the history, where lies the history of Detroit, and one of the most outstanding, more recent Detroiters is buried right here, is, was Mayor Jerome Cavanaugh. Jerry Cavanaugh, as he was known, was one of the most popular mayors Detroit ever had. He was um, only 34 years old when he took office as a young lawyer. He held office for eight years and lived another 10 years before he died of that fatal heart attack at 50 years of age. The time that he was elected mayor in 1962 was a very stressful time in Detroit's history. Uh, there was great racial divide uh, resulting from post-war employment and all these other issues. Uh, housing was a big problem. And so a very young lawyer named Jerome Cavanaugh campaigned on the issues of reform. In his reform of the urban decay, he allied himself with President uh, Johnson, who had this plan for the Great Society and offered federal funds for the rebuilding of destroyed inner cities. He stepped in with the idea of following the reformers in the South, who had done so much in the previous years to bring about racial reform in the southern states. And he um, uh, invited Martin Luther King to come in 1963, and arm in arm, they marched down Woodward Avenue in an enormous freedom march. In four days, the city's main streets were burned, the buildings were looted, the warehouses were looted. It was just destruction. And uh, Mayor Kavanaugh tried to get the governor to call in the National Guard right away. But Governor Romney um, did not do it. He wouldn't do it. And he waited too long. And this, the damage was all done. And several days later, Somebody was standing next to Jerome Kern uh, in one of the destroyed sites and heard Jerome say, we're standing amidst the ashes of all our dreams. And with that, he was soon out of office, came to the end of his term, developed heart disease, 10 years later had a fatal heart attack, and his sons came here to bury him close to the monuments of his inner city rebuilding.